I was working at a company locally um, and I was looking to leave and do anything else. Eric and I kind of hit it off and uh, he kinda, he convinced me to start taking pictures around the area and if I really wanted to get into photography, just like buy a camera and do it. He pitched Berks County Views to me and I was like, yeah, I'll, let's make the page right now and let's do it. <laughs> Mr. Matz. How's it going? Chilling, man. Thanks for coming in, bro. Yeah, of course. Uh, I really dig Berks County Views. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if you don't follow it, everybody out there, you should follow it. It's Berks County and it's some dope views. My wife loves it. She's yeah. pretty impressed to <laughs> to meet you on, uh, what was it? When did the hell will be there? Friday? Friday, yeah. Friday, yeah. yeah. It was Friday. Uh, State Hill. Uh, got those pictures today. Thank you very much. Look pretty good. Thank you. Dig it. Uh, I was telling my wife the story of how we met. She's like, how'd you even meet this guy? And I was like, career day, right? Yeah, why well, I'm missing, yeah. Career day. That was interesting. Yeah, and then uh, started calling you to do some photos for the clients. Yep. How'd you get into all that stuff, man? Like, what's the, uh, why'd you, buddy dig taking the photos? <laughs> I, uh... So, I mean, it actually goes back before Berks County Views. Uh, my business partner, his name's Eric Weber, he grew up around here. So he was working at Penske as a sales guy. And he, he had friends in Westchester that he would go visit every weekend. And he just kind of fell in love with the area and just started taking pictures on his phone. He had no photography background at all, and uh, the pictures just were getting better and better, and then he made an Instagram page, Westchester Views, and then it just kind of took off without kind of him forcing it. It just all happened organically, right on. unexpectedly, and it kind of just became this platform for local Westchester stuff businesses events yeah and then i was working at a company locally um and i was looking to leave and do anything else um <laughs> you know i was looking for freedom and just kind of yeah. doing my own thing yeah and i had a really good friend who i've known for pretty much my whole life he was working at Penske as a sales guy and he used to work with Eric who at that time had left Penske to do Westchester views full time. Um, and so the, the three of us ended up going to the beach together and Eric and I kind of hit it off and, uh, he kinda, he convinced me to start taking pictures around the area. And if I really wanted to get into photography, just like buy a camera and do it and figure it out because I had no I really didn't have photography background either and then that was July 2021 and then December 2021 was the Westchester Santa Crawl and it was also I think it was Eric's birthday around that time too so I went down um, to meet up with him and do the bar crawl with him and right before he started that's when Berks County Views he pitched Berks County Views to me, and I was like, yeah, I'll, let's make the page right now, and let's do it. So you had no photography experience no. two years ago? No. Wow. I guess, I mean, I feel like art's art. You know, yeah. like you, you know how to take a, I mean, like, you might have to, like, learn how, the device. Yeah. But you know what yeah. you want to take I'm a not a of. technical guy at all, so that was the learning curve. How long did it take you to feel comfortable with the camera? Um, I would say probably like six months into Berks County Views, I still felt like a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was, I would, I would post a picture, and I would just be sitting there waiting for Eric to text me and be like, "What the f was that?" <laughs> <laughs> so does but, Eric? So does Eric own like the whole thing, or? Yeah, I'm like a DBA basically. Mm. So it's. It's an LLC, and then I'm a DBA underneath it. But, you know, 
we run things by each other all the time. That's cool, man. Yeah. Definitely. I always thought about like uh, learning how to use a camera myself. You yeah. Know, just to just to make my life easier because there's so many times where I'm like, you know, like, uh, well, you know what kind of business I'm in. So there's times yeah. where I'm like, man, I just wish I had a camera just for like five minutes. You know, and I have my iPhone and, and I have a camera. And it's like, oh, dude, why can't you just like learn something just just for the five minutes you need it right now? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's cool, man. So six months. Right, so then uh, I should maybe start messing around with the camera. Give myself six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no doubt, man. So, um, but now you're doing the freelance and stuff. So on top yeah. of Burke's kind of views, you're you know shooting for us and uh, shooting for other local uh, businesses. Uh, what's it like? I guess you know taking these photos and sharing them uh, and seeing your work in so many places. Yeah, um, it's pretty crazy. Like I don't. I actually don't even think about it because I don't, I don't want it, like, it'll probably drive me nuts, but, like, I just, as soon as I post it, I just don't look at it until the next day, so it's just, like, when I post for my clients, I just kind of leave it go, and then I'll look at it the next day and not think about it. Do you, like, um, you know, are you, like, nervous? Do you ever go, like, man, I hope this gets, like, a bunch of likes, or? Um, no, because I think... I think that's what ends up driving a lot of influencers crazy is they want everything to be viral, every mm-hmm. single post. And you just, you can't think like that because it's just not going to happen. Right. How, uh, um, what's your claim to fame so far? Like what was your biggest post? Um, well, I think what really kind of broke Berks County views out, like really kind of made it official. I felt like was last year's French fry fest. Mm-hmm. Cause I had, I, I shot that whole event and then, um, Eric from Kamali, he had hired me to shoot his after party as well. And I walked away from that day knowing I crushed it. And I took like, that was the first day where I was like, Oh, these are going to be incredible. Nice. And then, Um, and I took pictures of all the vendors too. So the next day I sent all the pictures to each business and then Eric's of course as well. Um, and then everyone posted the pictures and credited me and I was just all over the place. And do you, is that how you get clients? Well, that's how the page started to grow and reach more and more people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And become more of a like a thing that local people knew about. It was that like the the you know is that how you got Eric as a client? Or yeah. Did you know him before him? Or? Um, no, I so I shot his Cinco de Mayo party la- last year, and then I shot that after party, and then a couple then maybe a month later he texted me and popped the question. Would you do my social marketing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that dude, man. His branding is fucking superb. Yeah, and that's that's why I like working with him. Is he knows what he wants, and he, you know, he likes my style. Um, and we, you know, we work well together. We hang out. Yeah, he understands the value. He does. Yeah. You know, a lot of people still don't. No. No. Which like drives me up the fucking wall i know yeah like that's that's yeah. why um you know when we spoke about getting you you know to help us out with our websites and stuff i i don't even give people the choice like so yeah. i realized when i started giving my clients choices oh so do you want to do this photo shoot and they're like no nah, i'm good yeah I'm, yeah now it's like when are we doing it i don't even allow them to say no yeah you know i'm just like when do you want to do it yeah you know it just takes things to just a whole other level yeah i've gotten that way too um with some other, not Eric, but other clients where they'll even say stock photo and be like, we're not doing that. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> how do you get people to like, how do you convince them to go that route and say, Hey, listen, we're not doing stock photography, man. Like, well, what, like, what is your, like, how do you get them to listen to you? Um, I'm just, I'm gotten pretty blunt about it where it's just like, I just tell them straight up, like, I'm not doing it. I'm not posting it. No one's going to like it. And, you know, I remind them that it's their brand, not some random Google images. Do you still get, like, pushback? No. 
Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Because yeah, a lot of people, I think they they think the branding is just like the logo. It's classic. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think with me, people don't expect it. So when I do put my foot down, they're like, "Oh, he's being serious." <laughs> <laughs> you need to do that though, you know, because in a in a in a sense, it shows that you know you don't mess around. Yeah. You know, like you take your job seriously, which I know you do. I see yeah. your work. You know, I know you don't. You don't screw around, even even with with State Hill on Friday. Like it was nice to see you work, and it's nice to see you do. I feel like you really dig doing food, and you did tell yeah. me that. Yeah. But like I could see the difference. Like when, even though Eleven Eleven was like quick, and you know, like yeah. you just did some photos outside, whatever. I could see you change when I saw you at State Hill. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's really into what he's doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, you know. And I dig that. I think that's that's maybe part of the reason why. You know, I'm happy we started working together because I really dig what you're putting out. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, a year ago, it was like it was always a goal to do food and real estate. So it's crazy that I'm doing it now. Like why? That's... Why? Why was the goal like food and real estate? Um, because I wasn't interested in I had no interest in weddings and prom pictures and like the family classic photos. stuff right? yeah and i know so many other photographers around here do it so i like i'm just i was just naturally more attracted to real estate and food and at the same time i knew it was something that was missing around here mm. i knew that there was a hole that needed to be filled yeah dude so do you feel like you're just going to be sticking to you know, like local businesses and you go to them and you say, Hey man, like this is what I can do for you. Or do you think like, you know, maybe one day you become like the go-to guy that people just call in general for like food and real estate. Yeah. That's your goal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think with Berks County views, I, I do want to be the go-to like advertising platform mm -hmm. is probably yeah, where I want to be. How do you, how far do you think that, that, uh, when it comes to industries, you know, like, you know, like, okay, food and real estate, like how far, like how many more other industries do you think you get in there? Or do you have any interest in other industries that you'd like to touch upon? Um, well, we're kind of, so one of my, one of Eric, uh, my business partner, his client uh, is uh, Van Cleef Bridal out in Paoli. Um, so I work with them. I go out with him every other month and we kind of do modeling photography basically so that's kind of this new adventure that i've been figuring out modeling in what sense well like you know modeling the you know models come in they model the dresses and everything for the uh bridal boutique the wedding dresses and uh the gowns and everything oh it's kind of like um so again branding yeah. They're just getting the models. <clears throat> yeah, it's just with people. people instead of right. food. Yeah. No, for sure, because I know a lot of bridal places, um, well, a lot of bridal manufacturers, they, they spend their money on creating those photos, and yeah. a lot of times they use, like, the stock, which it's weird. Like, I, you know, like, okay, yeah, it's always good to, to uh, elevate your brand, but um, in the bridal industry, they take some really good damn photos. So yeah. I, I can almost see, like, you don't have to, but it's good that you do it. Yeah. Yeah. So how's that turn? How's that rocking and rolling for you? Uh, good. We have uh, another shoot with them on the 7th. Um, it's going to be, they have a really cool vision for this one. So it's going to involve a drone. Um, oh. So that'll be fun. Do you and, do drone uh, photography? or? Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, uh, we invested in a drone um, last September. So. Well, how is that going? For, like, how's the... Uh, like, what's your, your favorite shoot so far with the drone? Um, so last year we did a, a Ledge Rock hired us to shoot their, uh, their club member tournament. Mm -hmm. And so we shot the tournament. Eric did photos, I did video, and then I also did drone shots just flying over the, the golf course and over the... Um, the clubhouse and everything and then they did fireworks at the end of the at the end of the night and i flew the drone into the pitch black dark shooting with fireworks shooting into the sky and <laughs> obviously uh, it's okay because you got it back 
Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> what those shots look like, man? They were great, actually. Shit. Yeah. Did you ever? Were you ever afraid of like fireworks exploding on one of these things? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's killer, man. Um, so then, are you guys thinking about going into like videography or just yeah, taking photos? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Who's gonna be doing that? Um, so I am more interested in it, but I, it was kind of my I kind of pushed it a little bit, but he's definitely gotten more into it. Uh, you know, he has that he is videographer in his Instagram profile mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So uh. yeah, he's yeah he's thinking about it a lot. What are the lo what other locations you think you guys are going to be doing? Uh, well, we're working on the mainline views right now. Mainline view is it yeah. like up and ready to be followed? Yeah, the Instagram is up right now. So. How big do you think this thing can get? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? What do you see in your mind? Like, I like to daydream, mm -hmm. you know, especially when I'm driving around. Like, how big can I get this thing? Like, how big like do you envision it being? Uh, I'm just thinking about Pennsylvania right now. I'm not yeah. thinking about the entire country. Uh, are there any <laughs> are there any like uh, spots in Pennsylvania that you're like, man, I really want to do like, you know? You know, it's it's difficult. We tried, uh, you know, it's it's not hard finding an area. It's hard finding someone who's gonna do it, mm. who's as stubborn as I am, who, who's just gonna go do it every day. And that's what it takes. Yeah, it does. It's a commitment for sure. Shit, so like you're posting. How many times a day do you post? Just once. Just once. Yeah. Is there like, and you don't have to tell me your secrets, but <laughs> like, do you have it where you know it's Wednesday, so I need to post by X time? No, I I try to post at the same time every day. You're just like fuck it. I'm just going through do what I what I want. Yeah, I mean, uh, a Saturday I might post a little earlier just to. Just to get maybe get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. So there's no like real rhyme or reason. It's more of just making sure it happens. No, there there is a rhyme or reason to it. There is kind of a method to the madness, but um, Saturdays I'm a little more lenient because everyone's kind of has the day off and free, and they can stare at their phone all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the way to go. Yeah. Um, so. I know we spoke about it before. You're you're talking about advertising. Yeah. When do you think, unless you're there already, when do you think your guys are gonna be ready to like open up like full fledged like advertising and? Well, so I mean the, uh, I mean I just did a you know uh, fresh over there in West Reading. Yeah. They you know Nico changed up the menu, so I did food photography for that. And then I advertised it on the page. Right. That's, so we're we're kind of already there. Mm -hmm. Kind of make kind of doing a rollout like that is really what I'm focused on right now. What about um, other networks? Are you guys just sticking to Instagram? Well, I know you have the TikTok, which is dope. Yeah, and we're on Facebook too. Right on. You know, it's crazy. I don't follow. I'm starting to see a trend in myself. You know, where like uh, I used to never believe. Um, the younger kids are like, Facebook's for old people. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. <Appreciate> it. <laughs> I mean, I'm on it too. <laughs> no, for sure. Uh, but I find myself like really starting to go like, okay, if I want like, uh, like I don't see you guys, like I don't go to Facebook for you guys. I go yeah. to Instagram for you guys. Yeah. You know, I don't know yeah. if it's just the way it's laid out and I, I'm just used to doing this and like, you know, whatever the case is. Um, it's like comforting. Yeah. You know, to go on Instagram and see Burke's kind of views on there. And I really think of Facebook as a comfort. Well, yeah, I mean, it's we actually looked at the graphs kind of early on of like the demographic with Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of this nice yin and yang where it's like the up is over here on Facebook and then the up is over on the other side for Instagram. And then you just put them together and you kind of have the two nice halves. How do you... Uh... Um, do you do you edit your posting per network or is it the same? No, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Would you pick one over the other? Um, well, actually, I mean, for Facebook, I know for sure the pictures do crazy on Facebook. Um, and then the reels do better on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, here and there, I might just do a reel on Instagram and then do a picture of the same subject on Facebook. Oh. So then they both do well. How does uh, TikTok rocking for you guys? TikTok actually is doing pretty well. Um, I'm not as consistent as posting, but I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to post this week. But uh, TikTok's kind of moved along faster than I thought it would. Um, but it's doing well. And I do kind of different things. I'm going to be doing different things on TikTok. I always kind of wanted to make that more a little more freewheeling. Like I'll, right. I'll repost things from other accounts that I would have never done on Instagram. How um, how do you manage your time, dude? Like when it I comes don't. to this stuff, because <laughs> that's the, that's I, I think I've I've reached a point now yeah. where I'm like I need to hire somebody. Yes, I just hired somebody to help. Me. Nice, <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, and it, and not just for like clients, like for us, like yeah. as a business, yeah. You know, and I've been telling my clients to do that for years, for sure. But now I'm like, you know what? I I, I really need to, I think, find a person yeah. that I can vibe with and really get this, like, plan going. Yeah. I I mean, I need some – I, you know, I'm looking to bring on more clients. We just had a meeting last week that if things go – if they give it the green light, she's going to be responsible for it. Um, and then, so more clients, and then just somebody that I can call and be like, "Can you get content from this client? Because I have this other photo shoot." <laughs> okay, <it's>, <laughs> I double book myself again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you um? Uh, what do you? Geez, like, what do you? You know, here's a good question. What do you look for in a person? Like, when it comes to social media, like, what do you like? What's a criteria? You mean a client or someone to help me? Not to help you. Cause like I have yeah. my own criteria in mind, but I wonder like if I'm even looking in the right places. So, well, so she's 23, so she's pretty much grown up with this stuff right. her entire Which life. Which is like my number one thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is great. And, uh, she was already a follower. She actually called me cause she found my business card at Sweet Ride. Nice. Yeah. So I was like, yep. If you could, uh, do, if you could work this Thursday, that'd be great. Man, I wonder if it's this, you know, this is one girl that's been contacting us. She contacted me twice. I wonder if it's the same person. That'd be interesting. I don't, I don't maybe. Wanna, maybe. I don't want to announce it on air. We'll talk about it. <laughs> no, I, I love that about, um, like, my the two guys I have working for me now, they were, um, what is it? What's the word? They took initiative. Yeah. They contacted yeah. me. Exactly. You know, and. and yeah. I know my wife tells me, she's like, you know, you should be looking for people. I'm like, you're absolutely right. I should definitely be looking for employees. Oh, I don't even know where to look. I know. It's 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 just like, you know, but then you put the you put the bait out there. Yeah. And it's like, you know, are you going to catch, you know, the, the fish that you really want? You're going to get like a robin, a sea robin. You got to throw it back, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've had people contact. I've had um, people contact me before and I just, I just, wasn't uh impressed with their content so i kind of you let it go yeah i let that i let that one go yeah it's weird because i yeah. feel like if they're gonna take the time to yeah. bother and i'm not talking about once yeah all right like it's consistency yeah you know they're bothering you a few times mm -hmm. you know, i'm like okay so if you're gonna make that kind of an effort then i should bring you in we should have a conversation what do you know what don't you know what can i teach you um that impresses me. Yeah. You know, cause yeah. you can't teach that stuff, man. No, you know, like no. you just like, and I'm not putting down what you do. Like, okay. You're like, fuck it. I'll take photos. You grab the camera, you taught yourself six yeah. months. You're good. Like you're, 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 and you're probably getting better every day. Yeah. You know, but you can't teach work ethic. You can't no. teach that the passion for wanting to do something. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff that is like, okay, you have that. All right. I'll, I'll, let's bring you on board. We'll figure the other shit out. Yeah. And, and I mean the page, has an aesthetic to it um so you know you want things to look nice and look a certain way and then you know cut and edited really well yeah so. sometimes I, I feel like we struggle in that you know we struggle in that uh, that piece of because I, I look at my grid you yeah. know and i'm just like ugh because i feel like we're always trying something yeah and i i, I don't want to end that too uh, i want to yeah. stop that i experiment time to time um just to see 
Yeah, I'll do like a weird edit on a photo that I wouldn't normally do, but yeah. But I feel like yeah. I, I just feel like I need to find that sweet spot. And I know I haven't found that sweet spot yet. Um, and social media is hard. It you is. Know? It, it's super hard. People don't think it. People no. think it's easy. No, no, sir. No. You know, maybe maybe seven eight years ago, it was more like okay, just make sure you post some shit. And yeah. Than everybody yeah. else. Yeah. No, nah, man. And there's so many different networks. Um, I had a cool conversation with Luke, one, uh, one of the staff here. He yeah. was like, um, he's like, do you know that like the moods should be different on every network? And I was like, how so? He's like, you know, like on Facebook, we should be doing more like what we do here in lifestyle like, you know, like everyday things that we do behind the scenes, let's say. Yeah, I'm a big uh, proponent of behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Like even just on the story. Right. Just, and, yeah. And he was talking about that. And then he's like, with TikTok, we should be teaching people, obviously, in like video. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, on Instagram, it should be like maybe more of our work, our portfolio. And I'm like, yeah, that all sounds great, fine, and dandy. How much time is this going to take? And who yeah. the fuck are we going to get to do it? Yeah. You know, it gets that intense with social media. Mm-hmm. You it's know, very time consuming. Oh, my goodness. And, my wife is always like, just do it when you're on a shitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're not wrong, you know. But then the content comes into play. And then I think about that, and, and, and it's funny, like you're sitting in front of me. Um, I keep reminding myself, I'm like, I got to get Anthony in here to take shots of us. Yeah. Like of us doing our, our thing, like almost yeah. like a monthly shoot. Like, all right, Anthony, come in. Some behind the scenes stuff. Tell us, I don't know, put us somewhere. What do you think's going to work? You know, yell at me. Yeah, when I started helping with Van Cleef Bridal, like, that's what I did, kind of, I would take, I would do shots, I would do shots of the models, and then I would also kind of take a step back and get a shot of Eric taking a shot of the models, Mm -hmm. and just kind of do some nice behind-the-scenes shots that I would post leading up to the actual post, like, hey, this is our... Yeah, this is what we did today. Which is perfect, which is what you should be doing, which is what I always have good intentions on doing like friday i took a picture of you yeah took a picture of still not post no. <laughs> freddy that's so that's the problem it's like people think they're it's not like, gonna think we did anything that right day. you know what i mean it's like and there there state hill was like hey i need those photos and i'm like i'm getting them today <laughs> uh, which i got them already but you know i gotta yeah. get them over to, i want to look at them again um but uh yeah dude i mean like that's that it's you know it's a great um you know, it's a great tool for all of us. Yeah. For all small businesses. But man, you have to have like a plan in place. You mm-hmm. gotta you really have to and you really have to hire somebody to do yeah. this for you. Like yeah. that's if you want to hire someone outside of the organization, good move. Yeah. Um hire somebody to be at your organization every day. That's a good move too. But it's it's definitely something that should not be like, Oh, I'll just take care of it next week. Yeah. Those days are over, dude. Mm-hmm. And 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 shame on me for, for still trying to deal with this crap. Um, <laughs> I, I still gotta figure this out, you know, on top of everything else I gotta freaking do. You know, but you know, um it's super important and I know you guys but you guys provide those services too, and not just like yeah. photos. Like we yeah. you do social media for people. Yep. How many uh how many clients do you have in that realm? Uh five you plan on doing more do you want more yeah yeah like a ton more not a ton more because i i do want to still have time for photo shoots and i really like shooting events so and And that's the thing you have five social media accounts you still gotta do burke's kind of views yeah when do you sleep uh i actually didn't sleep last night so (laughs) Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. So you're here. Uh, you were doing my photos. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you're doing yeah. State Hill. That's why they came to you at six this morning. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I was like, oh, shit, he's up early. Yeah, I, I sent him to you and I took like a three hour nap. Nice. Uh-huh. Just for the podcast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't look that horrible for this podcast. <laughs> no, you look great, dude. What's your what's your like future goals now? I mean, like I know you you, you spoke about burst kind of views. You want to build it up. You're you're getting more socials, but like, what does Anthony Matz want to do? Like, what do you see? Like, what do you want to achieve for yourself? Wow, nothing's cool too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so worried about this all the time that I I don't know. 
That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get it, man. I mean, I had, you know, I try to tell even my kids that sometimes when they're like, I, I want to do this. Bah, 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 bah. I'm like, that's cool. But don't fucking stress yourself out over it. Because sometimes yeah. they, they, they stress themselves out like beyond belief. And I'm like, you know, I, didn't, I was like, you know, your dad didn't even like start doing this shit for real to like 30, 31. <laughs> like yeah. I tell him, I'm like, I didn't even like really even. Yeah, I was 30 when I started this. Right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like I, I. Or I was 30 when I quit my day job. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. you know, you don't you don't have to have the answers right away. No. You know, I'd like to give myself goals to look forward to now. Absolutely. Um, but who knows, man? I mean, I'm looking forward to the next chapter now. <laughs> and like you would and I love where I'm at now. Like I'm not sitting here going, fuck this place. Like it's like, no, man, like I really yeah. dig what we what I built here and then the guys we have working for us now. But it's always nice to look forward to something else, you know, because change yeah. is, is, is cool. Yeah. I mean, whatever happens, happens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt man but listen hey thanks for coming in today bro of course yeah um this was a good time I, i'm glad i got to sit down and like learn a little bit more about you you know we've been we've already done a few projects so it's like yeah i was like why don't i get anthony on here plus he's got that really cool account so uh thanks for taking the time dude of course yeah we'll talk to you real soon all right hey Thanks for checking out this episode of Fred Talk. If you totally got into what you just saw, make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss another episode. Check out the playlist because there's other cool people too. And if you can't watch all the time, check it out on any podcast outlet. Don't forget, your Uncle Freddy loves you. Peace.